We saw some balancing in the Portland Metro real estate market, plus a bit of good news and a bit of bad news. That's in our exclusive sampling of the real estate market for Portland, all of the surrounding communities, plus Southwest Washington. Mortgage rates held their ground in the low 7% range, and we saw some changes in buyer demand. Let's take a look at the most recent stats and trends. We saw some balancing in the average sale price. If you remember last week, we saw a whopper of a number, which was much higher than the stats we've been seeing recently. So we were expecting some moderation and that's exactly what we got. The average sale price dropped by 6% compared to the previous week's high, but still ended up 2.4% higher than last year's average. We've been talking about this trend of treading water when it comes to comparing this year's average sale price to last year's but the numbers seem to be pulling a bit higher, at least over the last four weeks they have. That could be the start of a new trend, but I'd like to see a couple more weeks of that happening before I get too married to that idea. The supply of homes available for buyers to purchase was down again slightly this week. No surprise there, that's what happens this time of year. However, we still have more homes for sale this year than compared to last year at this time but only slightly more, just 0.6% more. Buyer demand measured by the number of new purchase agreements signed by buyers and sellers surprised me with an increase of about 10% over the previous week. I was not expecting that. I was expecting to see the numbers either stay the same or actually go down a bit. It's still below the number of new purchase agreements we were seeing last year at this time, but down just by 3.8%, which is one of the smallest margins we've seen so far this year. Here's a surprising number and maybe something new to keep an eye on. On average, sellers had to discount about 7.5% off their original asking price in order to secure a successful sale on their property. In previous weeks, they've only had to discount about 3-4% to off their original asking price in order to secure that sale. What could be the reason for this difference? Well, three to six weeks ago, when these homes that just sold first went under contract, interest rates were stubbornly stuck in the high sevens to mid 8% range. So it'll be interesting to see if these big discounts that we're seeing right now are as the result of seller fatigue or more about rates and affordability. Speaking of interest rates, as of this morning, that's Thursday, November 9th, the 30 year fixed was coming in at around 7%. And that's the best case scenario, which is pretty much where we were at the end of last week. The yield on the 10 year treasury, which is one of our best indicators of where interest rates are headed. That yield has been up and down this week, so we really don't have a good indicator of where rates are going, at least not yet. That's all the excitement I have for you this week. Be sure to join me next week for the latest trends in Portland Metro real estate. Please follow this channel if you haven't already and click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of the updates. Thanks for watching the video to the very end. Have a great weekend and I will see you here next week.